everyone, Shrek for the morning and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are getting into another series that I have been wanting to check out for quite a while. I know it's new, but I've been wanting to check it out since I found out about it. So I'm really excited to get into it. So if you haven't seen the title or the thumbnail, today we are watching Delicious in Dungeon. It's an anime. I'm assuming there's a lot of food to happen. I'm assuming there's a lot of like D&D-esque adventures, like very much like castles and dungeons and dragons and things like that. So I'm really excited to get into it. I love anime. I love anime food prep scenes. And I love, like, just the atmosphere of, like, an adventure. So I'm really excited to check it out. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching Delicious in Dungeon, Season 1, Episode 1. Began in a tiny village. Okay, this is giving one me day, scary vibes. The shook and the floor of the catacombs split. Oh, not From catacombs. The emerged a man. Claimed to rule the golden country, which vanished 1,000 years Okay, first off, this is giving me Winnie the Pooh uh, Blood and Honey intro vibes, and I hate years it. Years ago, the land had prospered, he said, until a mad mage cast a spell that sunk it deep underground, trapping his subjects there. Feet the mage, he cried. Then, the man turned to dust and blew away. Mm. Stand fast. Dragon should be no problem for us. Oh my gosh. With our skills, we can't lose. I love it. Although I'm really hungry. What? Heck, everyone seems a bit sluggish. Is that what we're thinking about during this massive fight? Wasted a day getting here. Get your head in the game. Hurry up. What's with her? Did she get hit with a confusion spell? <gasps> oh, no! Well, you were fantasizing about food. Your sister just got eaten. No we came all this way just to fail. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Wait. Thank goodness. Wait. Is that his We'd sister? Dragon food if it weren't for that spell. What? Speaking of, have you seen Fowler? <laughs> she got eaten. Oh, that, okay. So this isn't. Him. Sorry, I. The spell couldn't reach her in the dragon's stomach. Okay. Oh no. The dragon's sleeping now. I'll go back for her. Hey, hey, wait a second. We're broke. Here and food can get expensive. What say we sold all the gear we have on us? Would that give us enough cash to buy? Oh my gosh, will you stop fantasizing about food? We've got other matters. And hire a couple more party members. What do you think? Not even. By the time we figure this out, my sis will be digested. Is it she already in his you stomach? So I mean, she's probably pieces, long right? started. Wasn't someone resurrected after being pooped out? Uh. Not that I heard of. We want something really cheap. There's the public dining hall. The Laughing Wolf Tavern has bigger portions, though. Oh, oh but that could after a hard day like that, you want a big portion too. Dumplings that's to die for. No. Oh. I have to go back to the dungeon. But you need to eat. You do Here's need to plan. eat. I want the two of you to leave the party. Huh? I'll what? I'll take your gear and sell it, and raid the dungeon by myself. That's, That's a horrible, horrible plan. plan, yeah. Listen, this way I won't have to downgrade my armor. And if I'm alone, I can avoid monsters and get back to that floor faster. It's totally doable. Besides, this was all my fault. I don't want to risk your lives, too. Wow. I'm not going to slow you down. And a powerful magic user like me will come in handy. My skills are nothing to sneeze at, either. You what do you do? When you'll need a trap disarmed or a door unlocked. So you're a, you're a lock picker. Are you absolutely, positively sure you want to come, even though you face death? Okay. Then the dungeon has to have an ecosystem in it. The oh, so they're gonna? Okay, okay. Big brain energy. The okay. Monsters eat plants, which need water, light, and dirt to grow. Thus, we humanoids can sustain ourselves in the dungeon too. So we're gonna live in the dungeon. Then we're really eating monster. Yep. That's yeah, just like chicken. No. Think about all of our adventures up to now. Some of those monsters were tasty looking. Remember? Oh my gosh! Ew! No, I don't like are. that one. Are you insane? 
don't Who's have that? money for food. What else can we do? Right, but if I like we how he's just chilling. And get food poisoning, we could all die from that. <laughs> oh my gosh, other people. Well, Why do they keep letting noobs down here? If they're that, that scared of walking mushrooms, they should stay out. Oh, Is he gone. eating it? Oh my god. <laughs> he was digging in already. I think we just found our lunch. Uh -huh. Gross! Ew! No! I don't wanna! How do you even know the thing's safe for us to eat? The dungeon gourmet guide says so. Even though we are in a dungeon, this section is always bustling with adventurers and merchants. It used to be the catacombs where the villagers' ancestors were laid to rest. Ooh. Six years ago, it was connected to the dungeon proper and has become quite the busy location. They say monsters come from the bottom of the dungeon. Are they creatures from the surface, transformed by dark magic, or are they from the bowels of hell? No one knows for sure. You're a little too into this. Is eating monsters some kind of weird fantasy of yours? Saving my poor sister is the only thing on my mind. Mm hmm Sure it is. All right, I admit it. I do love monsters. I love how they look, how they sound, how they live, and... I always wondered how they taste. That's really weird. That's a weird concept, my god. That's weird. Do we have to cook this right here? Everyone's staring at us. But we need the water, and it's just a few steps away. That means diagonal and horizontal slashes will have little effect on walking mushrooms. I learned something new. It looks more like food now that it's sliced. Oh, gosh. I'm with her. <laughs> I'm with her. I'm a little nervous. Ew! You're cooking the whole thing? Aren't they poisonous? Not without the tail. It won't hurt us if we eat it. Well, shouldn't we cut off the tail? Yep, the guide says it's totally safe to eat. Uh. Bob the Pacers had legs and tail. Yeah, see, I was going to say you didn't cut that up at all. But the guide said it was safe to eat. Your guide's not up to date. Next, you have to slice the sucker up so it heats even and the juices can seep out. Oh, don't say juices. All the flavor. It's easier to eat this way. Damn, okay, Gordon Ramsay. You can't put those in. Why not? There's no way I'm eating that. You see those? Those are corpses. I'll eat a monster if I have to, but not plants from a graveyard. Tell him. Tell him this tastes great on its Mark own. Self. Who the hell are you anyway? Up. A slut. Oh, uh, come on. <gasps> no, it's covering my face. Ew. Okay? Doing great. A little got up my nose, though. Uh. My hanky. I had no idea you could kill those with a knife. It's easy if you know how its organs are laid out. Oh, that's even... Sure, <laughs> Don't like say that. Shoes, but it's actually not that different from a humanoid. This here is how the organs of a slime are arranged. Eat these raw. You first have to wash it with hot water and a splash of citrus juice. Then you okay. can either pat it dry or rub some salt on it and let it dry in the sun. After that, you got yourself one high-quality ingredient. If you can, starve one for two weeks, then dry it. Oh, I don't like the starving it. Ew. By the way, this is a portable slime dryer I made myself. Just lock it in there like so, and it'll dry out nicely as you Damn, he's around. quite the chef. It'll be a while before that one's good. Wow. Shrinks the meat in the shell, makes it easier to pull out. You're right. Kind of like seafood, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's good. I know, isn't it? Preparation. Come on, girl, give it a shot. I know, didn't it? Yeah, it tastes so good. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> oh, come on, just give it a shot. Give it a shot. Let me try it. Yes. They're amazing soaked in fruit juice, too. Oh, no, that might be okay. There's yummy roots you put in are nice and fluffy. Technically, those aren't roots. They're the stems of a plant that grows upside down in the dungeon. This algae is soft and delicious, too. Is this something that also grows here? 
Man, that's just plain old algae. You find it wherever it's dank. All this time, and I never knew this dungeon had so much yummy stuff in it. Me? You three are on a mission. Oh, well. On one of the lower levels, a member of our party got eaten by a monster. We have to save her before she's digested. I'm sorry, that's horrible. Which monster? Dragon. Dragon with crimson scales. Crimson scales on a lower level? That's a red dragon! I hear dragons mostly sleep because they're so big and need to conserve their energy. Yeah. Their digestion should be slower than other monsters. I sure hope that's true. For years now, I dreamed of cooking one of those red dragons. I have so many recipes in mind. Steaks or hamburgers are classic and easy enough. Ooh, shabu shabu would be amazing too. Okay. You go on as long as we have enough eggs. Is it right to eat what ate one of us? Ah, uh, I, I suppose. The thought crossed everyone's minds then, but no one said anything. Let's find a place to set up camp and get some sleep. But it's still daylight. Don't we want to go until it's almost darker? The hollowed out trees. <laughs> yeah, I do. I made pork soup and got burned so bad. <laughs> so. Are you hungry? I got some of that scorpion broth for lunch if you want. No thanks. Oh, <laughs> no thanks. We should hunt us a monster for our dinner. Uh, Girl, you'll get used to the like diet real quick. What? If you're craving something, I'll try making that. That's nice of you to offer, but it's gonna have monster in it, right? <sighs> as long as it's edible. Scabbles. Same with demi human. No. Living armor. No. Metal. That's it. There's nothing normal. Aren't there birds or fruit? Oh my God! First you say I'm fine with anything, then hate whatever we suggest. You're oh that. My God. What? I just don't want to eat gross things. There are normal animals here, but they're yeah, could... hostile. We'd have to set traps and wait. Could we that not hurt uh, maybe a deer or something? I know you have a point. No. Ah! A man-eating fruit plant. I should have known. Actually, man-eating is just a general term for it. See that flower? Yeah. Its formal name is Barisalia, and it grows along trails animals use. It produces fluid strands, like spider Ew. silk. And when a creature touches it, Ew! No! Things so it doesn't eat the things it catches. It uses them for fertilizer. We're on the second floor. A corpse retriever would have come and picked up any dead bodies by now. Yeah, that's a, that's reassuring. Time. This ain't the lower floors, so there's no way someone was left here for fertilizer. Stop that, you idiot! What? Why? <gasps> oh, you pissed it off! You pissed it off! You want to destroy all the fruit too? There's an ironclad rule here: take only what you can eat. Stop lecturing and help! Uh, Stop lecturing and help! No, the species that has you is parasitic. It plants its seeds under your skin. <gasps> Stop it! Stay as still as you can. These plant type monsters have lots of limbs. If I took them on one at a time, we'd be here all day. It leaves its seeds under your skin. It's called a shadow tail. Ew. Unlike the Barisalia type that squeezes you till your bones break, this type needs to keep whatever it traps with its vines alive. It squeezes its prey just enough so it can't escape, but it's still relatively comfortable in its clutches, which could feel kind of cozy. Did it? Mm -mm. Her face. Oh, her again. Yeah, you got intensely weird at the end there. Around the stem like so. Give her a little twist and pull. Okay. And right up. Then you peel the skin off and pound it till it's nice and soft. Then line the bottom of the pan with it. Give the unripe fruit a good mashing. Have a dash of slime and a bit of scorpion broth and mix till it's good and thick. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. It's like a it's a pie. It's a tart. Looks or like tart, it, I guess. Not. The crust keeps it from burning. Don't eat that part. Oh. It's real salty. I thought it tastes like sweet. Yeah. Oh. It's good though. Mm. Go on, try it. I'm pretty sure you'll like the flavor. <laughs> You didn't make this with the plant the corpse fell out of, did you? No. No, just its fruit. The just its fruit. Some of that species would have made 
this dish come out a whole lot better, though. The type fruit is juicy and sweet, while the digesting type fruit is savory. I bet the animals love these, too. Must be hard for the plant to make enough fruit to keep up with demand. What's the point making it, if it's just gonna get eaten? Well, it is a carnivorous plant. It makes fruit to attract the animals it eats to survive. That makes sense. Then, being delicious is part of the plant's strategy. How yeah. clever! That night, Marcel had a nightmare. Oh. Dungeon food. Eat or be eaten. There is no hierarchy to it. Just the reality that to eat is the privilege of the living. Ah, oh, dungeon food. Delicious in dungeon. I was so shocked that that was a 26 minute episode because that felt like lightning pace. That was here and gone so fast. Um, I really enjoyed that. I think that the food prep is a little ill to me because it's with actual like living, not just like living creatures, but it's like they actually go into detail of like its organs and all. And I'm like, ugh. But um, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was fun. I thought it was cool. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was a good time. Um, I think that this will be a series that I'd like to continue if I can get it past copyright. I do love the prep um, of the food. I just don't know where the story is going to go. Obviously, they have to go further and further into the dungeon, but I'm assuming the final episode is going to be them getting to the dragon. If not, I wonder if they get to the dragon at the end of like a season and then there's more adventures to be had. But it seems like this whole series might just take place in this dungeon, which would make sense why it's called, you know, what it, the dungeon eat delicious in the dungeon i really enjoyed that i hope you guys did too um i really like the characters i think that the girl i with the elf yours i can't remember her name i want to say it was marcella marcelli um i really liked her she was a fun character i get why she was so like about eating the food right away because the way that they show the organs and like that it's living is so much different than when we watch cooking in another world with my absurd skill because they killed the monsters, but they didn't actually go into detail. He just kind of cooked it, and it looked awesome and cool, the preparation and everything. So this one is a little bit more descriptive about how it's done and what things they have to do to it. But still, the dishes are really fun to see. The end product and the preparation is really cool, and I really like these characters so far. I'm curious how long it takes us to get to the dragon. Um, how many levels there are, because I think they said at the bottom is where the dragon is. And if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. Until next time, guys. Bye. I'm on my way to what I want from this world. And